So I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use this uh, modeling um, app, software, web page. Um, it comes from a university in Spain, and since we can't build in lab, this is going to help us hopefully visualize some of our simple molecules. So you'll go to this website up here. Um, I've got a clean canvas right now, and I want to just quickly change the background over here to white, um, just because I don't like the brown. Um, and then over here, you can see it looks like our skeletal structures that we've been learning about in class. So I'm going to grab this line here. Um, keep in mind, this would be a carbon, and this would be a carbon. So this is two carbons. If I want to extend my structure, I go into that blue box and just click again, because I've selected these single bonds, and then go to the next box and click again. Um, and so what I've just built is a butane. If I want to enter that name here, oop, I can do that. And then um, I lost a line there. If I click this arrow here, this will move it over and generate a model like we would build out of our wooden balls and sticks in class. So that's really kind of some of the magic there. Um, right now I'm holding my left button on my mouse down and I'm able to rotate this around um, so that I can see some of the hydrogens. Um, this is a ball and stick model, but I could also click here to see more like what it would look like in real life. Um, this is called a space filling model, um, ball and stick, or I can um, also do sticks here. So if you're asked for a picture, you could screenshot this. Um, you can also use this capture the image here, and you can save the image. It's going to save as a um, PNG file. So let's just say instead um, we clear that out and you want to search for a structure, um, you could come down here and enter the name. Say I want to look for 2-methylpentane. Um, so I type that in and now it gives me 2-methylpentane already um, here. Again, with my left button on my mouse, I can hold that down and kind of spin this around. Um, and if I want to see what that would look like in a skeletal structure, I can click the other direction. Um, and this also can help you see how 2-methylpentane is no different than what you might think 4-methylpentane is, just because I'm not breaking anything, I'm just rotating it. Um, so I can enter the names if I want to on these as well. Finally, I want to show you some alkenes. So quick way to see an alkene, um, cis-2-butene is going to give me cis-2-butene here. Um, you will want to make sure you use all the right punctuation here, so dashes between words and numbers. Um, and then I can send that over to see the picture of it here. Um, so that would be cis-2-butene. Now let's say I want to look at trans instead. I can click this white canvas to clear everything out. Um, single bond, click on the double bond, go to that small blue box, and then a single bond here. Um, so I just made trans to butene, and if I want to put that in the name here, um, I can type that, trans to butene. Um, and now I've got the correct name and I've got the correct structure. Um, so that would be building trans to butene. If I want to build cis, that one is a little trickier. Um, so I've got single, double, and I'm going to grab this single and I'm going to put singles on two directions here. And then I'm just moving with my mouse to hover over this bond because I want to get rid of it. And I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. And now I just built the cis um, to butene. Um, I could take that, I could add another substituent onto it. Make sure you've got that box and then click, um, and then that would add a methyl group on. That would be right here. Again, hold down with your mouse, rotate it so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Um, so feel free to bring questions on this to office hours or to class, but I hope that you find it useful, at least more useful um, than sitting at home um, without access to models. So have some fun with it. Try clicking around. Um, and don't forget, you also have these other views over here um, where you can see the molecule in different ways. But I find the ball and stick probably the most useful. So have some fun building some models.